Hello everyone and welcome back. Today in the workshop we are going to be installing some Aries Fabrication rock sliders. Aries Fabrication is a company that's been making XJ parts for quite some time and I'm here to tell you their products are pretty bulletproof. Now they are made to order so it does take a little bit of time to get them once you place your order. However, once you get them the quality is top notch. Another thing I want to let you know about as well is when you get these products, they come in raw steel. And the reason they come in raw steel is because they want you to be able to choose the color and the finish that you would like to put on the product. So you're not having just one option as far as either a powder coat black or a spray can black or whatever. You can powder coat these any color you'd like or you can put a, a bed, truck bed liner on them and that's exactly what we've done with ours. Um, it's going to make it very durable on the trail and very easy to touch up if it sh should get scratched. Now, we sent ours over to a local shop here in town which is called Body Mender and they did the painting portion on all the products that we have that we're going to be installing here on Project XJ. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here's the rock slider as you see it. Um, now he makes these in several different types um, and what I mean by that is you can buy just this portion of the rock slider you can add a tube, you can put it on a 45 um, you can do these all the way across um, so there's several different options that you have as far as these rock sliders are concerned and the way they fasten, they fasten in two different locations, they fasten at the frame rail of the vehicle and then if you see this piece of metal right here they actually fasten at the pinch weld as well. And what that's going to do is that's going to give you a lot more strength and durability on these things because these are made for you to be able to run over a rock and slide over an actual rock when you're off-roading. If you're looking at a rock slider and it doesn't have this pinch weld mount, don't buy it because all it is is a step. It's not made for off-road use. This is made for off-road use. So what comes with this pack package is a hardware package, okay, and inside this hardware package what you receive are the pinch weld bolts with nylon locking nuts which are here okay and then you also receive these screws and what these screws are is these are a self-tapping screw um, these are not designed to be pulled on by like a winch or something to get you out of a winching type situation and realistically where they mount back at the frame rail it's just there as a stabilization purpose these are made for things to be pushing up on them as well as an occasional person stepping down on them or pushing in on them they're not designed for anything to be pulled on them if they were designed to be pulled on them what you'd have to do is you'd have to drill through your frame rail you would have to put an insert through the frame rail and then bolt it all the way through. Now we may do that in the future but for now we're going to do this installation on it so you can see how it's installed from Aries Fabrication and what's supplied. What you're going to do is you're going to get a drill bit that's the size of the end of this bolt not the shaft because if you notice it tapers okay so what you do is you drill a hole the size of the end of this bolt and then this cuts its own threads and it expands out the additional metal making a, a larger, thicker, threaded situation for you to bolt through, which is going to be more stable. So that's what we're going to do next, and we're also going to get this set up. So stick with us, and we'll be right back. Okay, now, what we've done is just set it up here to mock it up, and we've put it on some jack stands, and because my vehicle's lifted up, I had to add some additional 4x4s four, four to bring it up to where it needs to be. So it's tight against the bottom of the truck, the pinch weld is tight to the bottom of the truck and where we're going to be drilling back at the frame rails is up where it belongs. Now, even though it's tight up to the truck, you still have about three quarters of an inch of a gap between the actual rock slider and the rocker guard. Okay, and I think that's kind of important for two reasons. Number one, obviously you've got to be able to get the bolts in there to tighten them down. But number two, in the event that a large impact takes place, it's not right on your rocker and it's not going to damage it. It may deflect it a little bit, but it's not going to be touching your rocker. 
and also with road vibration, it's not going to be rubbing the paint off your rocker as well. So the next step is we're going to take our 9 30 seconds drill bit, which is the same size as the bottom of the bolt, and I'm going to get a C clamp and I'm going to clamp the back one I'm going to do first because it's easier to access. The front one I've said because of my long arm lift kit I'm not going to be able to use a C clamp so I want to get my first hole stabilized and in the proper position so I can get the rest of them done after that. I'm going to start with the farthest one on the rear, the farthest one on the front, get those two bolted on and then I'm going to do my pinch welds and then I'll finish with the two inner ones at the frame rail. So that's what we're going to do next. Stay tuned. Okay, now that we've got the bolts on the, the bottom installed, I actually have a jack stand, or a jack, on the front because it was twisted just a little bit to, towards the front. So what I had to do is raise the front of it up to bring the bracket in the middle so I could get the, um, the bracket to line up evenly along the bottom frame rail of the Jeep. One, the front one wanted to be real high and the back one was in the middle. I wanted them to both be in the middle. So there was a little bit of a tweak that I had to make, which is to be expected with custom work like this. So building it off of a jig, not off of your rig, which means they're not all the same. These Jeeps were built off a jig just like these, these rock sliders were built off a jig. So there's some minor tweaks that are going to need to be done in order for them to be mounted successfully. Next thing I did, since the front was the problem, I started at the front and I went ahead and drilled the holes all the way through here. Um, and what I did is I just took a, and went and found a drill bit that's just a little bit larger than what these bolts are. And went ahead and drilled those out. And I've got the bolt and the nylon lock nut in there. And now all I'm going to do is go ahead and tighten it up. I'm going to go ahead and continue on the other side with the same process and then we'll take a look at them and what they look like once they're finished. Stick with us. Okay and there you have it folks. This is what they look like when they're installed. They're nice and sturdy. They're not going anywhere. Um, one thing I do want to mention that I did before I bolted the, the pinch weld bolts on is went on the back side of them and I just squirted a little bit of uh, black spray paint or just any kind of spray paint for that matter just in the hole keep the hole from rusting out because as soon as it gets exposed to the elements raw metal starts rusting so to prevent that from happening and to ensure longevity on this product where I drilled the holes through I went ahead and just fogged a little bit of back black spray paint in there just to kind of act as a corrosion protection measure but uh, that's basically how it's installed it's very simple it takes about 30 minutes aside with uh, with I used um, an impact wrench electric drill and a few socket sets there are a few sockets and wrenches, but uh, as you can see, it's not going anywhere. So, Aries Fabrication, Rock Sliders, thank you for watching XJTV, we'll see you next time.